The debate over the need for snow tires is a hot topic. Some people swear by snow tires and wouldn't drive on anything else in the winter, and others just run all seasons year round. But how much of a difference do snow tires really make? In this video, I'll be comparing the differences in acceleration and braking between snow tires and all seasons with performance data to back up our real world results. An additional twist to this test is that our vehicle with all seasons is four wheel drive, whereas our vehicle on snows is front wheel drive. We're gonna be seeing if four wheel drive can make up the difference of not having snow tires. Before we get into these tests, let us know down below. Do you use snow tires on your cars for the winter or do you run all seasons year round? Let's start off by taking a look at the cars and the tires that each have fitted. This is a Passat VR6 4 motion. This is Volkswagen's all wheel drive system and for the purposes of this video, all you need to know is that it can send power to all four wheels. It's fitted with Bridgestone Potenza pole position all season tires, a fairly aggressive high performance all season. The other car is a 2014 Volkswagen GTI. This car is front wheel drive, but it's fitted with a set of studded Nokian snow tires, a purpose built tire for these conditions. Now let's get into the testing. For the purposes of this video, we'll be leaving traction control and ABS on. To test acceleration, we'll be doing a zero to 20 mile an hour acceleration. To test braking, we'll be doing a 20 mile an hour to zero deceleration. These runs will be tracked with a draggy GPS performance meter, which will allow us to track speeds, distances, and accelerations with a high degree of accuracy. Now let's get right into the testing. All right, so we are now in the Passat VR6 4 motion here. We're getting ready to go ahead and do our launch, and this is sort of gonna be the benchmark, because this is on all season tires, but we have our four wheel drive four motion system and we'll see how it does. So right now I have my draggy arm so we're gonna get our good data on this run. Let's put it in drive and see how she goes. Here we go. She doesn't like to stop. She launched pretty good, but man, does she not like to stop. Getting up to 20 miles an hour took 50.94 feet and took 3.71 seconds. Breaking back down to zero took 58.62 feet and took 3.98 seconds. Breaking definitely wasn't all that confidence inspiring on these runs with these tires. Once again, good launch and it just does not like to slow down at all. So the braking distance is horrible. The launch with the four wheel drive is still pretty good. On the second run, getting up to 20 miles an hour took 50.58 feet in 3.41 seconds and braking back down to zero took 52.78 feet in 3.55 seconds. This was slightly better than the first run, but it still wasn't all that great. Good. Now let's get in the GTI and see how that compares. All right, we are now in the front wheel drive GTI with these studded snow tires on here, and we're gonna see how we do. I think we're gonna be pleasantly surprised by the results, but let's take off and then we'll take a look at the data. Here we go. The launch isn't super strong, but now we're pulling pretty good, and now we're gonna start braking. And let me tell you, these studded snow tires break so much better than those all seasons, even with front wheel drive. I'll get into the reason for that a little bit later, but this thing stops really well. The first run on the GTI took 57.31 feet and almost four seconds to get up to 20 miles an hour, slightly slower than the Passat, but braking absolutely blew the Passat out of the water. It stopped down to zero miles an hour in 32.68 feet in a time of 3.51 seconds. I will note that this data looks like it was a little bit messed up, so I don't think that that time is totally accurate, but I do think the distance is right. And here we go for round two. Let's mash that gas. Put it in gear first. Now let's do it. It 
it stops so much harder. It definitely launches about the same. We'll have to take a look to see which is actually launching better, but it's gonna be close on the launch, but this thing is absolutely taking it under braking. On the second run with the GTI, getting up to 20 took 50.18 feet in a time of 3.85 seconds, and getting back down to zero took just 33.06 feet and 2.23 seconds. Once again, on this one, I think that the time is correct and that the distance is also correct. The confidence that you get on these studded snow tires in these conditions under braking is really, really good. And with that, the results are in. The four-wheel drive Passat on all seasons launched relatively well in these slippery conditions. It was actually a little bit faster than the GTI on the studded snow tires. But when it was time to slow down, we really saw the downfall of running all seasons in the snow. They have significantly less grip and were far less confidence inspiring. Four wheel drive could help make up for the lack of snow tires on the launch, but under braking, they really don't come close to competing. This is because cars have brakes on all four wheels and you essentially have four wheel drive braking. This means that even front wheel drive and rear wheel drive vehicles can use all four tires effectively while braking. It's under braking that you really see the difference between the two tires. The snow tires are absolutely in their element in the snow, which is to be expected, and all seasons leave something to be desired. I've had a few scary situations under braking on all seasons in this car, and if I had snow tires on, it would have made a huge difference in terms of confidence and in terms of safety. Of course, not all snow tires and not all all seasons are created equal, and tire choice and car choice can make a big difference. With that said, running snow tires in the snow will definitely keep you a lot safer and will allow you to accelerate better so you won't get stuck. It will allow you to brake better so you don't hit things, hit other people, and get into a, a big crash or even just minor crashes. And all in all, snow tires are what you want. With that said, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know if you expected All Seasons to do better than they did under braking, or if you were already a big fan of snows. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. Take care and stay safe out there.